Hello, my dear, dear viewers. Um, so, lately, I have been having this odd sort of fascination with Hamlet. Well, not for the first time, let's face it, but it has been some sort of redefined in, in some way. So, um, I've decided to take on this new small project. Um, I will read through one of Hamlet's seven big soliloquies in a couple of days and see if I can bring something new, something nice into them. Um, yeah, so I want to start today with uh, Act 1, Scene 2, the very famous Let us two to solid flesh would melt speech. The moment after his conversation with Claudius and Gertrude. There we go. Oh. That is too, too solid flesh would melt, fall, and resolve itself into a dew. The everlasting had not fixed his cannon against self slaughter. Oh, oh God. God. How weary and still and flat and unprofitable seems to me all the users of this world. Oh, fine on it, fine. There's an unweeded garden. It grows to seed, things rank and grows in nature, possess it merrily. <sighs> Did it should come to this. But two months dead. Nay, not, not even so much. Not not two. So excellent a king. That was to this Hyperion to a satyr. Oh, so loving to my mother that he might not but team the winds of heaven visit her face too roughly. Heaven and earth! <sighs> Must I remember? Why, she would hang on him, as if increase of appetite would grow by what it fed on, and, and yet within a month. Oh, let me not think of it. Frailty, thy name is woman. A month. Or well, ere those shoes were old, with which she followed my poor father's body like Niobe. All oh, tears. Why she? Even she. Oh God, a beast that once discourse of reason would have mourned longer. Married with my uncle. My father's brother, though no more like my father than I to Hercules. <laughs> Within a month, ere yet the sort of most unrighteous tears had left a flushing in her gallant eyes, she married. Oh, wicked speed to post with such dexterity. To incestuous sheets. Oh, it is not, nor it cannot come to good. But break my heart. For I must hold my tongue. 